good luck to them. Now, a group of injured Royal Marines and Royal Navy sailors today returned from an expedition in France where they recreated the journey made by the cockle shell heroes in World War II. Ten men were involved in the daring raid in 1942, but only two survived. Well, 75 years on, the current challenge involved an 85-mile kayak up the Gironde River to Bordeaux and then a 100-mile trek on foot. Well, along the way, the group unveiled a memorial to those involved in the wartime mission. I'm delighted to say we're joined now by the expedition leader, Captain Paul Fleet, together with Petty Officer Craig Howells and Corporal Ian McCormack. Welcome, all three of you. Thank you very much for coming in. How was it then? What was it like? It's incredible. Thanks. Um, it's a real privilege to be to, to organise the event and to be involved in it for two reasons, really. For the historical context, obviously, um, it's a it's a story that's really important to us as Royal Marines and Royal Navy. Um, but also for to be able to put on a recovery activity and a challenge like this for my injured service men and women, a chance for them to really push themselves and overcome adversity with a challenge like this. It was just a real privilege and an honour. Yeah, Taff, are you shattered? Because you only got back in the early hours, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it was um, it was hard work, you know, being injured and actually walking 100 miles, you just got to think, how did they do it? Especially uh, for even able-bodied people, 100 miles in five days is some some feat, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. and Ian, tell us a bit more about the, the baton you're holding there. What was the significance of that? Um, the baton is uh, one of the handles, one of the four handles from a, uh, a stretcher used in Afghanistan that was actually used to carry casualties. Um, away to Bastion, and uh, within it is a message about um, uh, called the Baton Poem on a piece of parachute silk, and it's just used as a reminder of uh, you know injured servicemen. Um, but on the trip, uh, and a different individual would carry it each day. I had the privilege to carry it on the first day, and then I'd pass it on to the next person, and then they'd pass it on to the next person. And while you're carrying it, you just reflect on you know friends you've lost and um, other people who've suffered and reason why we're doing it and you know about the cockshell heroes and the sort of pilgrimage that we were following in their footsteps incredible it's all, it's all quite emotional is it did you find you had a lot of support along the way huge amount of support in fact um i can't take all the credit for organizing the event in its entirety I had a, a huge amount of help from the royal naval warriors kayak association and former rsm baz gray also our charitable um donators patrons capital royal Marines charity um, but but more, more what i was struck by more specifically was the, the welcome that we received in France off, off the, the locals. And we met family members um, connected to the story, um, those that had helped Blondie and Bill Sparks escape and, and actually gave their lives in doing so. So we were very privileged to unveil memorials along the, along the way and meet these family people and let them know that, you know, we, we're still connected to the story and we still, we still value it. Um, and briefly, you, you mentioned earlier that you, you, you found um, admiration for what they did. What, what did it mean to you to do this and, and reflect on what they did? Um, it's just keeping a memory alive. You know, not many people know the true story of the Cockshell Heroes. And hopefully, if people can follow us and actually see what we've done, they can just see a little bit of what happened. And as uh, Captain Fleet said, it was just nice, um, the French people coming out to help us, and especially one family. Um, a husband and wife had just made their own plaque in commemoration of 75 years for it. And yeah, you just got to take your hats off to them. How they pulled through it. Incredible. Congratulations. Yeah. And thank you for coming in to tell us about it. It's great to think there's a proper memorial to them there as well. Yeah. And thank you very much indeed for talking to us tonight. Yeah. To well done. Nice to see you. Next tonight, while Christmas is a time of joy and goodwill for many, it can be difficult and lonely for others. To